Although Tesla Cybertruck has not come out yet, it continues to attract the attention of pickup truck enthusiasts. The appeal of its shape may be debatable, but the materials it will use for the Cybertruck are unquestionable. Tesla has stepped outside tradition both on the body and the exoskeleton front. We will tour the insane $1.9 billion facility where Tesla sources the high-quality steel it will use to make the futuristic Cybertruck's body. We'll have a look at the new steel plant that will produce the sheets for the body of the most anticipated electric pickup truck in history. Unofficial sources report that the Cybertruck has been purchased over 1 million times in the preliminary phase. In the case of an unreleased product with a price tag of $39,900, it shows how much trust buyers have in the Cybertruck. But what are these people getting? Additionally, the battery-powered Cybertruck performs well. Its range is 500 miles on the highest trim level, and it can tow 14,000 pounds. The tri-motor package will speed up from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, a record for pickup trucks. The cabin of the Cybertruck has ample space both and, which should appeal to campers and workers alike. Tesla makes fast cars, but what makes the Cybertruck unique is its body. In this case, Tesla has used a manufacturing process and a material not commonly used in the auto industry. As Tesla describes on its website, the Cybertruck's body consists of 30x ultra-hard stainless steel. It has the advantage of resisting dents, damages, and metal's number one enemy, rust. Tesla founder Elon Musk demonstrated the Cybertruck's benefit and strength during its presentation. One of his assistants dented the door of a normal truck, likely the Ford F-150 on stage, which calls into question Ford's built Ford Tough marketing campaign. The body of the Cybertruck remained undented after receiving the same treatment from the assistant. Tesla's Cybertruck, unlike other automakers, will have an exoskeleton constructed from stainless steel instead of the body being made of several pieces and then welded or riveted together. Cybertruck has an exoskeleton that makes it durable and gives it a unibody layout. Isn't it unbelievable how much towing power this truck offers compared to others in its category? What about the total payload of 3,500 pounds? Besides that, Tesla claims that its Cybertruck will protect its occupants better due to its steel unibody and ultra-strong glass, which combines with polymer. Cold-rolled steel will serve for use in SpaceX's interplanetary journey to Mars, the spaceship. Besides, construction companies use steel. The use of this technology in a production vehicle is, yet, novel. By cold rolling, the steel has been enhanced in strength and tolerance and has a superior finish. This process involves rolling the stainless steel at room temperature and not at high temperatures. You might have guessed that this cold rolling process costs more than traditional methods of making steel sheets. Why is Tesla able to keep the Cybertruck's price low and maintain a steady supply of steel? We are now at the steel plant. But before that, it is worth noting that using steel for the body in this unibody way will save Tesla some money in the long run. According to Ward's Auto, Tesla won't need stamping or blanking dies to shape the body panel since there will be a flat surface and straight lines. Tesla can instead laser cut the materials to size. Tesla will not need to perform other manufacturing processes like hemming, as creases and folds will be sufficient. Tesla is going for a unibody design. According to Sandy Monroe, the legendary auto industry expert, Tesla will save $60 million by making its trucks this way. Still, it is an assumption based on 50,000 units produced per year. Omitting its production costs, Tesla will be making significant savings with many pre-orders reported. Even though Tesla makes many of its parts in-house, it must buy some materials from suppliers. Steel Dynamics Corporation is one of them, a company located in Texas. Besides Tesla's Giga, Texas Steel Dynamics also constructed Cybertron's factory, whose construction is estimated to cost $1.7 billion. Therefore, the cost of production will be within budget. Either company confirms, of course. According to statements made by the metal maker, this contains supplying steel to an electric pickup manufacturer, which currently only fits Tesla. Also, Steel Dynamics' new building will be 167 miles away from Giga, Texas, and it will have a cyber truck. Next year, the production goal will bring your ideas and innovations.
Solving the world's problems involves a lot of work. Those two other plans also align with Steel Dynamics' target of the first production in 2021. By the Cybertruck will enter production in 2022. In recent aerial photographs, it is clear that Steel Dynamics, a massive facility in Texas, is advancing. Some buildings even have manufacturing equipment installed already. In contrast, earlier footage of the site showed progress last December. Even though the growth is not as rapid as in Giga Texas, local officials say things have sped up in recent years. Tesla will refinish or repair the steel it receives from Steel Dynamics, which the manufacturer is unwilling to share. Steel Dynamics explains the body of the Cybertruck. All of this is despite the steelmaker investing billions into the project. Besides, it shows how far Tesla will go in developing the parts within its product. The stainless steel alloy estimates that it will create over 3,000 jobs. The jobs they have and will come off claims. The company could be even bigger than ExxonMobil. Tesla's decision will benefit the town of Sinton. It uses old rolled steel for the Cybertron steel. Dynamics will be required to make use of all its steelmaking expertise. As part of this process, the heart itself enters a beta phase. Tesla hasn't been too fond of the truck, however. Steel Dynamics will have enough time to complete their production facilities this way. We have an informative video coming up next that you're sure to enjoy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Greetings to everyone, thanks for watching.